Dear students, let me discuss how many types of Wheatstone bridges are there in just a single minute. You can just see here, there are all resistors having same resistance, R only. That means this is a balanced Wheatstone bridge. Resistance across AB is directly taken as R as the answer. Here also, all the resistors are same. This also Wheatstone bridge. Here also, resistance will be any one of the resistance is going to be the answer. That means answer is R. Here also, this is a Wheatstone bridge. Answer is R only. Here also Wheatstone bridge. If you open this, this is also Wheatstone bridge. So answer is R. Here also if you take, this is also balanced Wheatstone bridge. All the resistors are same. Answer is R. Here, this is a complex Wheatstone bridge in which you have to find out the net resistance of one corner. 2R is in series and it is in parallel with R. That means 2R into R by 2R plus R. That is R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. You will be getting 2R by 3 as the answer. So any one of the corner is going to be the answer. That's it. The resistance across AB is, this is going to be the answer 2R by 3. Let us go for the next case. This is a double Wheatstone bridge. Upper Wheatstone bridge is having resistance R. Lower Wheatstone bridge is also having resistance R. And both are parallel here. When both are parallel, resistance across AB is going to be R by 2. That means R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 is nothing but R by 2. That's Dear students, do you know that this is a complex Wheatstone bridge? We can solve it easily. How? Let me discuss it. See here. These three resistors are in such a way that this is R and this is R. That means 2R. This one is 2R into R by 2R plus R. R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. It's going to be how much? 2R by 3. Okay. So 2R into R by 2R plus R. 2R by 3. So similarly, this is also going to be 2R by 3. Similarly, this is also going to be R by 3. Similarly, this is also going to be R by, okay. So if this, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 2R by 3 is here. I will modify this like this. Now just here. This diagram, 2R by 3, 2R by 3, 2R by 3, 2R by 3, here R, here, here R. Now I am converting this like this. So 2R by 3, 2R by 3, 2R by 3 can get in series here. So this summing together, it is going to be 4R by 3. This is summing together, it is where? Okay, this side is 4R by 3, this side also. R by 3, this is R and this is R. Okay, so I can make this diagram like this. Now, is it not just like a Wheatstone bridge? Yes, P by 2 is equal to R by S, 4R by 3, 4R by 3, R, R. Okay, so therefore, as this is a Wheatstone bridge, in the middle, there is no current passing. We can remove this part of the Wheatstone bridge. Okay, now R plus 4R by 3 plus R, these are in series. So much is going to be 7R by 3. Okay, this is 7R by 3, and even this is also going to be 7R by 3. Okay, then what happens? 7R by 3 and 7R by 3 are parallel, therefore. This is A and this part is B. So here in this case, this is A and this is B. Okay. So resistance across AB is going to be R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 that is 7 R by 3 whole divided by 2, which is nothing but 7 R by 6 is going to be. All the resistors are same here. So all the resistors are going to be same. Then what is the resistance across AB here? For that, you should know one thing that this upper part of the diagram is going to be a Wheatstone bridge. This is P by Q, R by S. Current does not flow in the middle part. So upper part having resistance R and the lower part is one more resistance is there which is having R. Therefore resistance across AB is going to be both are parallel so your answer is R by 2.